Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Tuesday 10. So I'm here with my typical 10 things that I've pulled from my stash to make ephemera. Um, I have a little bit of an intention today in that I want to have a bit of a blue theme. Um, so I have this antique cabinet card that I want to kind of change the way it looks a little to bring it into a theme that I'm working with. I have a jelly print tearaway paper. I have this um, moon, an old image from um, a garden book. I've got the remnants of some florals that I've that I illustrated some time ago that I want to play with, and um, this is death and burial of poor cock robin, and this is the. Um, the owl carrying the shovel to um, to bury him, and on back we have this is I believe the person the the crow who read his uh, you know his last rites, and um, this is some jelly printing as well with the maple seeds blue on this kind of brownish background. This is a page from an Ideals magazine. This is a digital from Release the Crafting that I um, have from I've been I've been working with this particular kit I love it to bits and I I want to add some of it to this project I'm doing and then I also have this bird image so let's jump in here I feel like saying all of that it feels like more than 10 things but that's fine I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna get going um, this can go over here okay so I'm gonna start today with this little tin type um, cabinet card. I don't necessarily need to do anything too, too crazy with it. I just want to add blue to all of this kind of more boring white space here and maybe a little gilding. So I've got my beam, my beam paints here. Um, I'll just give them a bit of a spray. The color that I mainly think I want to use, let me see if, what this one, how dark this one is. I may use some of this around the edge. Yeah, and I'm going to need a little more water, which I forgot to get because I'm silly like that. Let me just throw a little in here. That works. I'm not going to need a ton of water, just a little bit. Um, just kind of spread around this color. And I could likely come back into to frame here. I like to do nice watered down dark colors on things like this because, you know, what you're working with is a really lovely old kind of antique bit of paper and you don't necessarily want to take away from its original look too much. But I just need to add a blue tone to it so it can fit in with my journal project that I'm working on. So I just also want to say thank you to everyone who have stuck with me. I know that the programming on the channel has been a little different as I've been working on my Patreon improvements and changes that I want to make. I also want to say thank you to those of you who've checked out Patreon. I'm really excited for what's to come. I personally think that the subscription clubs are going to be the most fun. I've already started um, working on some stuff that will be getting mailed out for the July mailing and it's already fun. I, I love it. I think it's going to be um, a really nice way to spend my time. And because of the limited way in which that I'm doing it, I'm not offering unlimited, unlimited uh, spots. It's, it's going to be good because I can, you know, not impact the normal journal work that I do too much. I'm sort of planning what journals um, I want to work on next. I'm sort of like getting a lot of ephemera processed and books processed down for the retro 80s, 90s journals that will be coming. I'm pretty excited about them. I think they're going to be a lot of fun and uh, that will be a big project. So I need to find out what will my, my kind of journal that I'm going to work on when I'm taking a break from working on that, that big project. I got to figure out what I want that to be. And I do think I want to make another one, maybe two, of the studio, like art artist studio sample journals, because since making the, the ones that I made, 
I just really loved them and I loved doing those projects and I had a lot of positive um, feedback on them and I've also discovered a few more things that I might like to do for that type of a project so oh yes I love how that looks look at that nice washout watercolor isn't that just pretty I also um I need to grab this gold so I I have to probably get another one of these soon, this Sizzix Luster Wax, but I wanted to try a different um, kind of gold paint, and I got this Montmartre um, paint. It's it's weird, though. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Um, it's kind of dual tone, and it's a little bit different than any other paint I've ever really used before. Um, I need to find a brush. Here's one. I might just try to grab a little bit of the cap, in fact and see if I can, yeah, see, it's, it's quite a present ink, um, or, or paint, like, I don't know how to explain it, it's not the same as a gilding wax, it, it's really kind of in your face, um, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't apply in a, a way that's not pretty direct, but it does blend a bit, which is good, I get, um, it's another kind of medium that I'm just not used to working with yet, but, I think I'm okay with it because it blends well, but it scares me when I put it down because it feels like it's just so um, up front. It's just really uh, there. <laughs> and I'm used to working with a lot of mediums that, you know, kind of, they gently blend in and they're not too in your face. See, like, it makes me paranoid that it will take over too much. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna give it a bit of a rub. Okay. I feel like I need a little more water over here where I added it. I just want to blend it a little more. I don't want this to be like pop gold. I just want there to be hints. Okay. I'm gonna get the water off the tin type. All right. I'm gonna let that set aside and dry. So that is the project I want to do with that. So this gilding wax over here because I'm gonna need it again. Um, probably keep my watercolors too because actually I want to keep my watercolors because another one of these pages that I wanted to work with today this one I did a video a bit ago about what to do with your black and white um you know kind of old papers so I would like to do a bit of work with this I'm gonna get rid of that red it's just I don't know too much Mm. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm coming here. <laughs> I just need a piece of paper. I just want to lay this on a piece of paper. There we go. Okay, so I want to again bring this into um, blue tones for the project I'm working on. So I'll start maybe just filling this in with the darker shade that I've been working with. And just decide which ones I want to be the darker petals. And so today it's very quiet in my house. I have a lot of work to do today. Work has been insanely busy. It's early morning, um, but my husband took my kids out because my son has a class today and my daughter's going to tag along for it. She wanted to. So I said, okay, that's fine. We're just been, um, we're working on a summer library kind of challenge right now too. Um, our library system has this really fun, like kids summer program. That's not just reading. It's, um, different kinds of activities. They could be art activities. They could be outside play activities. Um, it's a whole kind of mishmash of fun things. I'm just going to add some gold into the blue in here to create like another tone. And then I want to use the lighter blue on the outside. Yeah, but I've been dealing with a lot of weird work stuff lately, just 
a lot of flux. I have a, a few problematic um, clients that I'm dealing with right now that are introducing a lot of last minute rush change problem reporting kind of stuff that it, it's not ideal and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to you know correct them in a kind way because it's really impacting my team to be in panic mode all the time and I don't like it <laughs> so go a little darker up here with this green I find it really really uh, relaxing and meditative painting watercolor on these black pages. I really enjoy it. And it's amazing how nice they come out actually. I I wasn't sure at first what to think when I decided to do this because I was like, oh, we'll see. But now they really do turn out quite nice. A little more blue. This is a nice um, blue shade from Bean Paints. It has flecks of gold in it. It's sort of a, a starry night type paint. Their paint is just magical paint. I love it. And I see a lot of color shifting paints and stuff, and I have some of them. But I have to say, ultimately, what I've experienced so far is that most of the companies, like the small businesses that are buying the pigments for color shifting paint, you know, they're buying them from commercial suppliers that are based in Asia, that kind of thing. And not that that's really a problem or anything. That's the reality of our world. But um, I find that they're all kind of the same. And they're also made with things that I can't actually determine where they come from or what they are. And because I have children in the house, I try to be a little careful with the supplies that I have um, because... I don't want to introduce any kind of toxic chemicals in the house as much as possible. Um, so that being said, I like bean paints because I know what they're made of. And also they're indigenous owned and local and all that kind of stuff. So Canadian. It's nice. Okay, so I think, I think I'm good with this. I don't want to like over, over color it too much. You know, I might go a little more just in here with the the lighter blue because it's more of a, um, a glistening iridescent kind of tone. I'm sure this looks really shiny to you. Um, once it's dry, it won't be as shiny. So let's set that aside. So those are kind of my things that I'd planned to watercolor. So I know I need drying time on them. So I'll let them just hang out while we work on the other stuff now, which is going to be more ephemera, um, less like mixed media kind of. So let me tear this out. Yesterday um, I went on a lovely walk and I saw so many fledgling little birds. They're beautiful. It's so nice to see them. Little robins. And I love seeing like baby birds of birds that I've never, that I don't often see. So yesterday I saw a baby, a fledgling blue jay. And I saw a fledgling crow. Oh, they're so cute. Especially the blue jay. Just beautiful. She was sitting in the, the mulberry tree where we collect mulberries and my daughter was eating mulberries because she is like a, the queen of mulberries, this girl. Whoopsies. That's okay. It's a little shorter than I wanted it to be, but I'll, it'll survive. Um, so yeah, she was eating mulberries and chatting away to me and all of a sudden this I look up and there's a blue jay right above our heads. We didn't even realize that he, that he was there. Just being very calm, you know, probably happy that we hadn't noticed his presence. So I just told my daughter, like, let's, you know, let's uh, finish up with these mulberries and not make this little bird feel too panicked or rushed or crowded in its environment. So she was okay with that because she's... Uh, Pretty big lover of animals, that girl. 
So I think I'm going to try to use up some of this calendar um, cover that I've got. I can pull this apart in a way that doesn't tear it all up. I think I'll use my knife, which is here. Just kind of extend the blade out long and slide it on down here. Because this is a nice weight. And I know it looks like I'm cutting toward myself. I, I'm not, I promise. I've, I've got this kind of lifted up a little. I've lifted my arm above it is what I'm trying to say. There we go. Then I'll just put it far. Okay. like it's getting on the short side. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll be stitching around this anyways, so I'll just stick it down with what I've got in terms of glue. All right, I will get more glue one moment. Okay, glue. those two out, I guess. Well, let's glue down these birds as well. I'm going to glue all this down. I think I want to cut this out too. I know there's, it looks like there's lots of things to fussy cut on these and you might be wondering why I'm not doing that. So first of all, the calendars themselves are beautiful. They have loads of um, nice Victoriana kind of stuff. But, um, excuse me, secondly, um, most of it, it's like partial, right? Most of it's kind of cut into in some way. So that's why I'm not being precious about these covers. But I do want to save this little card. It's really cute. And it's already on a nice weight of paper. to go to the gym today and take a swim but I think my day is pretty full already and I have to work on packing for my daughter she has a camp this weekend um, like an outdoor overnight camp so I've got to work with her on packing things Come off now. there we go I also need to take out my extremely full recycle bin that's next to me here. I feel like I haven't made um, a normal video in a few days. I have to make, I really have to make um, a few videos. I've had this... Um, I've had a craft supply company reach out to me to ask me if I'd be interested in, you know, kind of collabing to do a little review of their products. And I just 
got them in the mail because I figured sure I'll give it a try um so I'll be making some content relating to that coming up um they're a company that I hadn't heard of before so I won't talk about it quite yet I'll wait until I release the video but um the first video I'm gonna do I think three videos because I got um I got two kinds of products but one thing that they they ask like is kind of to do um an unboxing so it'll be an unboxing and then um I do a little walkthrough of like how to place an order on their website if you're and I link to the things that uh I get so if you're interested in them because I think they're a little bit different than some things that I've seen elsewhere and um I'd say that they're comparable to a lot of online websites that sell uh craft materials that are um what's the word like kind of not a specific um well-known brand but they they're manufactured things like dyes and such um and i haven't used them yet but i'm going to be so i won't say if they're good or bad i'll just i'll wait until i've used them okay so these i think this is going to go in the stitching pile i do want to gild a little around all of this though so let's do um i want this to be do I have my, you know, I got those fun punches. What is this one? Let's see. Sorry. Just looking at these punches that I recently got here and trying to decide if I should maybe use one. Also, my desk is too cluttered right now. <laughs> I don't know why. Let me just put a couple things out of my way here. Wait. this one what does this one do I completely forget oh that's like a tag one okay no I've got other ones let me just did I not put them in here maybe I put them over next to me or is it these ones so there's the hole there's the slot there's another little so I keep a few little punches like near my desk in this little thing because I think it's kind of helpful this one it's like a teeny tiny corner rounder i think yeah that's what that is okay maybe i will get a different punch because that's a corner rounder yep i don't know if you guys have ever seen these things before but they're so cool i don't know if i showed you guys these when i was a kid my uncle worked in like um this big flea market type place like he managed it it was like a warehouse he was like a property manager for different like properties and he used to bring me things randomly that like you know i could i don't know he just brought me things so i remembered these from when i was a kid and then when i was shopping like online one day i saw them look at that isn't that cool it just puts a little clip on there and like you can buy these clips in all different colors um and then like they just like get pushed into the end i don't know really what it's called this one i got from like a chinese you know website kind of thing like a you know this was like back in the old aliexpress kind of days when i used to shop there but um yeah it's it's kind of cool so let me grab a punch i'll be right back this is the one I was thinking about, this kind. So I want the nice corners on this. And um, I'm going the wrong, no, I'm not going the wrong direction. It has that little guide I always forget about. Okay, so one, yeah, that's cute. Then two, Three and four. Okay. I'm just going to see if I can define this one a little bit better. One second. That's better. Okay. I'm a little new to punch to punches. 
<laughs> to some little punches. Okay, and then I want to gild around the edges here, just like on the corners. I don't even want to stitch around. I think it's exactly as I'd hoped. Um, this one, I just want to add a little gilding wax just around the edges a bit. Let's kind of rub it into frame things. I love this gilding wax. It's just so nice. Lots of gold on this one. All right, so that'll get stitched. I'm going to just set this aside to use in something else. Then I've got these birds here. Um, I'm going to do a little collaging with these birds. I think. Where am I? I had that sheet of flowers that was in the Tuesday thing. Here it is. Let's grab that. Okay. more bits and bobs I think that. I just want to focus on these gold colored ones probably should have well no actually I was gonna say I should have fussy cut these before the video but that's not the point of Tuesday 10 we are here to use things up on camera <laughs> I'm thinking about booking a bit of time off next month. I'm, I've been just very like overwhelmed with work lately. I need, I feel like I need a break. You know, when you're getting a little bit like, I don't know, a little snappy with people. That's how I feel like, but I'm not quite getting snappy. I'm just getting a little like shorter than I normally would be just like, yep. Okay. <laughs> you know, like not like, yeah, no problem. But you know, if you need anything, like, I think I'm just getting a little bit like overwhelmed with work. It's it's been a bit um, for a while now, and uh, I always say that you know my job for sure. They pay me to put up with a few things <laughs> from people, and I do that. Um, we all do, right? If you're working, you know what I mean. We all have those people at our work. I'm blessed to say that many of the people I work with are awesome and have been, and I've worked with them for a long time and been able to like mentor several people and be mentored by several people. And I have a pretty great working relationship, honestly, with everyone on staff. There's, there's a few people I avoid. I think we all do that. You know when you need a boundary, right? And I have those firmly applied. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing I think when you get a little bit older is you start to think like, I am too old for this. <laughs> you are not putting up with the same things maybe you would have when you were a little younger and you felt more um, pressure to like impress and you had to do that to succeed at, you know, getting ahead. I feel like I'm kind of, I'm at the place in my career, sort of, where I'd like to be or I, I have to be I guess I'm comfortable there um, not so comfortable that I'm you know getting cocky or anything but just I'm comfortable in that like I don't feel like I need to 
um, yes sir, no sir, thank you sir, people. I don't need to do any of that kind of, like, new job grovelly feeling where you're trying to, like, impress everybody with how absolutely polite you are. <laughs> not to say I'm not polite because I am you know you have to have a general respect for the people that you work with and um I'd say that I have that for sure I, I think respect is something that is earned it's not just you know given and um I'd say most people they get it from me right away they give me no reason to not respect them but there's some people for sure who tote that line and we all have those. <laughs> it's been a bit of um, just weird, like, I think everyone is too busy. I also think summer makes us a little more, um, first of all, I think less interested in work, but also because the weather's nice and we want to do things, but also more people are away on vacations, so it taxes those who aren't, like my, my girlfriend, who I work with who I love to bits she's I, I got to hire her and she's a wonderful wonderful person um, she decided to take off like during our last kind of we have these kind of like big summit type week-long work fests I would say it's a lot of work for me so I, I don't really see it as a, a positive thing it's not a process I agree with at all but um, I have no power to get rid of it at this time. So she had decided to take vacation during our last one of these and asked me, you know, would you cover for me? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know, I love you, but this is mean. And you know, it's so funny because I was like, you know, I'm going to get you for this. And I, I almost ended up ironically booking off the same time that we do our next one. But then I took a look at the calendar and I didn't, I said, I was like, you know, I can't do that to anybody. It's, it's too much. We all need to be there. You know? So yep. Sometimes you just got to do that kind of stuff. All right. I'm going to ink over the white here. Just using a little vintage photo. I think with the gold, it actually gives an almost golden feeling to to uh, whatever you're inking. I'm going to sew around this journal card, but I want to ink the edges as well, just with vintage photo. This is um, a paper from an old like nature book, and it's kind of it, it's like matte, but it has this kind of. I don't know how to explain the finish. It's a slightly shiny finish, but not really like a silken finish. And it takes the ink in a really interesting way that I always quite like. Like it, um, it takes it almost like a pen ink and, and it, it, it's like, it takes a little bit longer to dry. Okay. So let's put that in the stitching pile. Let me check on my watercolor here. Oh, that's so fun. I love that. Yes. Now, do I want to do anything else to it? Do I want to add any kind of a black line frame around here? Um, with a bit of gold, maybe. So we'll take a little of this. Let me see how this will look. Yeah. Okay. Now this stuff does not... Um, blend it just goes on as it goes on so let's do this I'll tell you what this crayon is after I put it on here okay this is um, a marabou art crayon watercolor crayon then what I want to do is I want to actually just kind of hit this with a bit of coffee as I go around rather than water just a little coffee and then I'm going to drag my finger here right around in it and I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit it's going to make a bit of a 
a, a coffee sputtery stain um, with the gold in it. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to pick up the extra the extra liquid after it's had some time. But my objective here was to make color in that inner ring next to the photo, and also just to kind of stain make a stain that's going to take away from like the distinctly oval shape of all of that. So I'll just kind of carefully shuffle this off to the side here put it on top of my watercolor paint where it will be safe-ish. Needs to sit level so it doesn't schmear. There we go. Okay. Now we can move on. Um, where's my stack of things over here? So first I think this moon, I want to, I'm going to take this flap off the back for this little mole. Um, my cutter here. Now this moon glows in the dark. It's actually so cute. So this is a little too big. It's too big this way. I need my big cutter. Okay. Oops, sorry. Crash bang. Last night as I was, I, I have no idea what it, what video it was, but I was falling asleep last night and I as I often do, if you're a crafter on YouTube, I probably watch your videos, um, you know, around bedtime a lot of the time. And then I probably watch them more than once because I will watch them when I'm working during the day and I'm not filming. But then I also like to like watch YouTube at nighttime at bed. Um, so I was watching something last night and it was really quite melodic and I was falling asleep. And then all of a sudden, the lady, who, whomever's video this was, she fell out of her chair while she was filming. <laughs> and I think she's kind of one of those folks who doesn't do like any editing at all, right? But she, and she's like, I'm not wasting this video. <laughs> I loved it so much. And I don't even know who it was because it was probably midnight. I, I was honestly asleep. And it just, the the kerfuffle of what happened woke me up and I just noticed what happened and she was she was like oh dear I just <laughs> seemed to have fallen out of my chair and I was like in stitches I'm like I gotta go to sleep so I shut the television off after that but oh my god it was so funny um I'm just waiting for my moment in the stars where that's gonna happen to me <laughs> We'll see. Okay, so let's get going with the moon here. And I honestly feel like that would be a really pretty backing for this, but let me see. I may not do that. Um, I need a solid backing though. I need to set this all on the side. Um, there it is. This. So this is quite, it's not that thick. I can use a paper. I just need to check if this is, oh yeah, that's perfect, okay, good and solid. I don't want the picture showing through on the back. I gotta get a new glue book. Mine's gone. I don't know where it went. Actually, no, I think I must have used it up. I was using up this old garden album um, for the longest time. And I think I probably just finished using it up. Yeah, so today, later, I'm going to be working away on my July Journal Together kit for Patreon. Um, I'm really excited. I have some cool stuff for this one, but I'm also just excited in general to work on it because it's just a fun project and I've got lots of fun stuff already kind of put together for it. We also have Junk Journal July coming up, hosted by Meg Journals. You can actually get the 2023 prompts on her Instagram, which is also Meg Journals. Um, I'm thinking about doing it. I probably will. I was sort of on the fence, but I think I will. I've got some work to do for my uh, subscription clubs or Patreon. I've got a bit of work to do for them. 
today later as well. And so I'm totally looking forward to just getting this work day out of the way. And then I'm gonna work on some stuff for my clubs. And then, let's pick this back up, okay. Um, and then I'm going to, I guess just go for a walk, get some exercise outside. Okay, let's lay down a piece of paper here. I know I'm all over the place today with like this, working on that, working on this. I'm just, uh, it's because I've got a few different things going on here. Look at the cool mark that made. I'm going to keep that paper because see there's gold in it. It made a really fun mark. I'll set that up here. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly very stoked about this. I love how it looks. I'm not going to add anything else to it. That is cute on its own as is. So we'll set that one in the done pile. Now, where was I going with what I was working with? This, I think, next. So I think from this, between these two images, I'm gonna go with this one. Um, this is only one piece of paper, right? Yeah, it's just very thick. All right, let's move that punch out of the way. I need to put away the things that I'm not using. <laughs> There. it's too uh, crowded and I'm actually gonna take the mother goose nursery rhyme actually no I'll leave that I think it's cute I just want to take the red line off this one because red is not a part of my plan Okay. I'll just start by backing this And some file folder. This side, right there. Then this piece of paper. Am I going to do anything else with this? No, I'm going to get rid of it. It's got a big oh, slot cut into it, so it's not really all that useful. Um, Now, where did those, here they are, There's two little bits that I have from the Ideal magazine. I want to add those on here too. Whoops. I went and grabbed three glue sticks so I wouldn't, you know, run out for a while. And I'm going to open all three of them and have them on the go. I know it. <laughs> uh, bought myself this week, um, that one I'll have to wait, a medicine ball and a new gym mat because I want to start doing like core strength training um, exercises and I'm trying to, like I took it all up to my bedroom because my kids just want to pick up like this 25 pound medicine ball. <laughs> okay, let me see, is the, it's lovely in the spring but good in the summertime. Um, it's just a tiny isle of green, a jewel on the sea, the peaceful, happy set settlement you hoped that it might be. In Sconset and Nantucket town, the old still meets the eye, with streets and houses little change, for time has passed them by. I'm going to use the last three parts of this verse only, I think. Mm -hmm. The old still meets the eye, but streets and houses little change for time has passed them by. It's kind of quaint. I like that. I'm going to put that on the bottom here of this piece. Then, I'll glue that a little more. I'm going to have to, um, but first we'll cut this out. And I want to make a tall tag with this. I don't want to lose the steeple up top. So I'm just going to trim a little off the bottom once I glue the edge of that. There we go. That's better. That's what I want. 
And then we'll cut this into a tag. And I will stitch something up top on that, definitely. Okay. I'm going to splatter this a little with some gold watercolor paint. Oopsies, I'll pick that up in just a moment here. Just gonna let my paint um, sit and get wet. And then go into the paint here. Nope, not gonna work. Okay. Get your own way. I'll use my fan brush and more water. Okay. Ah, it's not wet enough. Okay, give me just one moment. Okay, so I did a bunch of things, mainly tidied up a little because <laughs> it was a bit crazy here. Um, and I also am just rehydrating my liquid um, gold watercolor paint because it's really great for splattering. It's hard to get enough um, paint stone, like paint on your brush in order to do splatters. Um, it's more of a liquid watercolor thing, um, at least in my opinion. Oh, and I forgot to cover their faces, and of course, I right there get her eyes. It's okay. You can you can move these watercolors. And I just went a little down here on top of my my words. Okay. Yep, you can still see everything. Just kind of move that color around. All right, so I'm gonna just let this sit and dry. Now. Um, I'll move my watercolors over here because I might still use them for something. We'll see. I might be splattering something else. I also got a new glue book. Yay! <laughs> I didn't have one and it was tough. I, I like to have that base to work on when I'm doing stuff. So with this card, um, what I want to do with it, I think, is first of all, I need to add a bit of ink to the edges to just kind of give it a little framing and it's actually so vintage so this will just kind of vintage it up a little more so that everyone can see it's vintage and we'll hit the back a little bit too okay I want to check and see if I have a rub on that might be really cute on there what do I have left of my rub ons my close by ones I know I have more but I'm trying to use things up as I kind of go so I don't take out like 7 million different materials because if I'm allowed to, that's what I'll do. Um, blue and gold, blue and gold. These are quite tiny. I do think one of these would look nice, maybe this one. Oh, and maybe on his neck. Let's try that. So let's just cut out this one here. Okay. I also took a quick little lunch break. My husband made the best pierogies. Oh my gosh. He's pretty awesome. Yeah, I love that there. So let's get the popsicle stick. Give everybody a jiggle here. Sorry if I'm jiggling you. I think later today when I go for my walk, I'm also going to bring my spinning wheel. I'm going to sit and spin a little bit of yarn outside. But oh, we're not quite stuck yet. Okay. this rub on. I wonder if these act a little differently 
on the different paper that they're on. Because this one, see this? It seems to be tearing the paper with the rub on. Why would it do that? Okay, here we go. I've got it started here. Maybe I can... <clears throat> Actually, where's my little tweezer? There it is. Let's see if I can tease this away. What an unexpected result. Hmm. Rub ons are tricky. I find like they work some most of the time, but some of the time they don't. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to salvage this, guys. I don't know. Let me see what I can do. Even if I can just get it to detach, I'll stick it down with another glue. Hmm. What a strange rub-on. Okay, that was weird. Let's see. Um. Hmm. I don't think, I don't think so. But can we salvage this in a different way now that we've, we've messed it up? <clears throat> That's the true test, right? Let's see what we have. Okay, so we need something that will do what I was looking to do with my rub on, which was like a little, you know, floral kind of neck collar. Um, let me grab my stickers, which are over here. Let's see what we can do. Because I don't like to waste them. He's so cute. What about? It's a little wide, but maybe, maybe. I like the shape of that one. It's kind of what I was going for, which was like a, a necklace type shape. And what if we did this underneath it, but maybe just we cut it in half. Well, this is perhaps the most fiddly bit of <laughs> what I thought would have been a quick piece of ephemera I've had in a while. Let's see, as so, and then perhaps And yeah, I'll cut the stem off on that side. Okay. We're going to fix you, my darling. <laughs> so that might be a bit of caution about using rub-ons on antique paper. Just be careful. If that's going there, I'll need that to go about there, I guess. Yep. Okay. There we go. Now, let's ink this. We're going to have to ink up the card itself to just kind of make this a little more blended. I'm okay with that though. Now, um, let's do some splatter. Not here, nor there. Because I feel like that will also make it a little prettier now that we've had to make a bit of a repair. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. Sorry for all the stress, little bird. <laughs> okay. Now set that aside to just dry. It will go in the stitching pile as well. Um, <clears throat> now, 
I'll take one quick minute to just gather up all my stickers here again so that we don't have a calamity of crowded stickers. This is why it's nice to have a, a little like on your desk ephemera because um, or like collage fodder type stuff because you never know what's going to happen. I think I'll use the rest of those on fabric where they were very successful although I did a lot on paper too and I didn't seem to have an issue but you never know. <clears throat> okay um, I also need to back this. This was the other side of that one that we made a tag out of. I want to make another piece with that. So let's just go ahead and trim it, glue it, and then decide what's next here. this I guess I'm just reaching for this kitty cat friend here. And I have this owl and pussy cat. Yeah. This is the owl and pussy cat song from um, Mother Goose. So I think what I'd like to do maybe is put that on the back if I can and have the cat on the front. And here's my dog dropping his bone upstairs, <laughs> as always. <clears throat> he, my dog Rex, just turned a year old on the 17th. He's a beagle. And he's, he's a wild boy, but we are noticing he's starting to calm down a little bit, thank goodness, because that boy has been a test, <laughs> let me tell you. <clears throat> it has been trying. <laughs> as much as we love him, he's pretty uh, wild at times. But he's starting to settle down, thankfully. I'm hoping as my kids grow up a little bit, and so does he, that everybody just kind of takes it a little easy, because <laughs> mama needs a nap. It's the truth. <clears throat> okay, I will back that with some of this paper. Actually, do I have? Oh no, I don't want to use it for that. Bit. No, no, I don't want to use that. Either. This, this. And then with this, you know what I think I'd like to do? I want to add a bit of um, gold splatter to it, but after that, I want to let it dry. And then I would like to emboss this card. That's, I, I want to see what embossing powder will look like on top of this really lovely <clears throat> jelly printed maple seed. So let's do it. Let's just spatter it a bit here, just for some interest. Okay. And I figure I've got the paint out, I might as well enjoy my spattering, but I do love doing. Um, so I'll set it aside to just get dry. Then we will move on to this next piece here. So I first need to woo, stand this up. Let's get this out of the way here. I think I'm done spattering. I'm going to move my paint away. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now what I'd like to do is I want to use a section of this jelly print. Maybe that. 
And then we'll just tear out the shape that I want. Now, glue put that on here as well. And then I also would like to remember, remember this one and get it glued down as well. We'll just keep moving right along here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so take this bottom and I have to decide on the size of this because I don't want it to be too huge but I do want to keep most of it that paint is just unbelievably beautiful all right tools away that are hanging around. Oh, there's something under there. Yep. I feel a little something there. It's a little piece of tree bark. <laughs> Not unusual for this place. Okay. <clears throat> so let's cut out this. that's going to get stitched around. This is going to be our base for something fun. And then this one, Also, I want to make something fun with this one. Okay. And I need to focus mainly on journal cards and tags right now because I need many of both of those things. Um, there we go. And this one I think I'll also make into a tag. So we'll just get it all cut out and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so now I have this paper doll. I've been working on some new paper dolls and this is one that's in progress and I really quite like her. So I think I will go ahead and use her and ink her up first. Just, I've already created kind of a colored background but I just wanna add a little bit more ink around her hair and just any really light areas. And then <clears throat> on the tag itself, I also want to kind of heavily add a bit of gold, um, definitely over that little torn area, anywhere that has any white, and over this bit of red as well. I don't want a lot of red in this. A little bit's okay, but not a ton. It's kind of gonna give it some heavy gold. <clears throat> and we'll come back to this and is my glue bottle clogged? I think so. Where is my glue pen? Hmm. I feel like I have just had so much stuff on my desk today that I am like misplacing everything. Okay. It's because I make stuff with lots of abandonment <laughs> in my heart and I just don't think about what I'm doing much beyond the thing in front of my face. So 
But there's all these little fires around me all the time that, <laughs> that I don't pay a lot of attention to. Okay, we'll center her. Um, what else, what else, what else I have? I want to do maybe some words on this really pretty paper that I have. Um, but I'll just concentrate on getting her glued first. this little scrap here of this paper that might be kind of fun with some words on it. I'll just grab a big bundle of words. Too big. Hmm. That's massive forest. Came to a wide forest. Nothing but darkness beyond. Big oak tree. Fell off to sleep again to dream. Here we go. Here's a nice one. At the end of an unbelievable day. That sounds very fun. Just add some ink on here. I love this handmade paper so much. I just want to use every little, every little bit of it. <laughs> And then I think all I really have left is just this. I wanted to add the owl and the pussycat on back. So let's do that. one. I really think I probably just want to stitch around. Oh, but I'm going to add this crooked little path. How cute. It's so funny when you just have those serendipitous moments where you've got a word snippet just hanging out on your desk and it goes perfectly with what you're making. Okay, so just give me a moment. I'm going to, um, I'm going to emboss the cover of this and I'm going to stitch around everything and I will come right back. Okay, so we made 11 pieces. So this one stitched around. Our painted flower has been all stitched around. This collage of birds, the fun paper on the back and stitched. And our splattered tag, the old still meets the eye. With streets and houses, little change for time has passed them by. And then um, this tag here that says Crooked Little Path, I just stitched some fun iridescent and blue um, fabric up top. My paper doll tag here with this gold organza at the end of an unbelievable day. Pretty. Thank you. This is a tag from Release the Craftons kit and I stitched some fabric. And there's our little repair bird. Um, I'm really happy with how it looks now. And the original um, ephemera that I just decided to watercolor in gold paint. I'm really happy with that. And another piece from Release the Craftin. And the last one I did do the embossing. So I just kind of sprinkled and had fun with some clear embossing. Um, uh, what's it called? Powder. And then I added some uh, copper as well. So there's a little hint of copper in it as well. Um, I just have a, a silly heart here with me. Um, and I stitched some fun fabric up top. So, and we have the little owl and pussycat on the back. So thank you for joining me for another Tuesday 10. I will be back again, hopefully next Tuesday. And until then, have a great day. Bye for now.